so we have a stream. Stardew Valley, but that doesn't count. Um, I, if you are ever watching this, it either means you're one of my friends and you're doing this out of pity, or I eventually got famous and you're doing a back catalog thing. Who knows? So, I did a Twitter poll. I had 14 responses. It's the dramatic, um, you know, demonstration of my following. But the winner was all well, which I've not played any of. about spying on people via the internet, which is almost too appropriate for a stream. Uh, yeah, so, Hayley, me, Hayley, hi. Um, my Twitter account is uh, at Elvortel, E-L-V-O-R-T-E-L, for numerous, not numerous, overly long reasons um, and she her pronouns uh, if you don't stick with that then fuck you you get booted also as I say in a whole stream really so I'll probably be bad at this bear with hopefully I'll get better and you can actually be entertained by what I'm saying um, I'm gonna feel very silly because I know no one is actually watching this but hey that's how it goes You have been accepted, so it's all very in universe already, which is I dig. It reminds me of um, a very old game called In Memoriam or Missing Since January, which was the idea is people have been kidnapped, and you're playing the game made literally made by a serial killer, and it emailed you and stuff. It was proper ARG before that, not before that was a thing, but before that was mainstream as it is now. Uh, right, let's go. Oh, okay, lots of pictures. If I'm going for someone who looks vaguely like I like it, a love the diversity of people involved here. That's good, including a couple of older people. That's all, that's really great. Um, just for like the hair similarity, I'm guessing she's meant to be Asian, but. Showing 
the safety of the nation's people, I already feel like a tool. I'm loving how all of this game so far is in universe. Ah! Camera footage. Look at the art style. Oh, we're playing Watch Dogs now. Okay. <laughs> That's really clever. It lets you see the sort of things you can do. Okay. Oh, you're looking through CCTV cam as well. You can find out who these people are. Bye, hope you don't get arrested. I'm gonna feel like such an asshole saying this game. Content warnings. I have the clocks were striking 13. I have no idea what sort of content warnings we should be looking at here, so use your judgment. If you think it's going to be crappy for you, then perhaps you know, miss my sparkling personality. Uh, you're online, good. Who is Symes? He looks boring. Um, he, have a, he has a goatee, tech pro. Not the actual date. So, anyway, uh, you're online good. Call me Symes. I'll be your advisor on Orwell. Together we will form both the first and last line of defense against terrorism. Always the terrorism. For this test phase, you are one of the first people to try out the Orwell system under real circumstances, selected from thousands of applicants from across the globe. Normally, congratulations would be in order, but as you can see from that footage, there has been an incident. So let's get started. I've activated the reader tool for you. So you've got reader, listener, and insider, which is interesting. Its purpose is storing bookmarks to online websites and documents for easy access and to highlight when there is new information to be investigated. First, I want you to be informed of the situation. Our leading newspaper, the National Beholder. <laughs> I cannot possibly imagine that as not being edited by a D&D &D beholder with the eyes and everything. Um, we'll bring you up to speed. Also, that's kind of on the nose for this game about surveillance. Uh, right, so. Okay, so it is very like, this is your, this is your computer, this is your web browser. Headlines. Feel free to browse the National Beholder. I've activated the Profiler. Open the Unknown Person file once you're done. Interesting. Um, the leading newspaper of the nation. Fast, precise, honest. Can I click on these adverts? Ah, oh, that's a shame. Um, Bomb obliterates freedom and oil and kills three. Bonton. Meant to be Boston? Oh, okay, no, these just seem to be completely unrelated. Explosion destroys the Freedom Memorial in Bonton. Three people killed, five severely injured. Authorities receive strange letter. I really want to be able to just explore this in game universe. Negotiations in triplet failed. That's going to screw me over. I'm really loving the art style and the photos and everything. That's great. Parjitian president aborts negotiations with opposition. <laughs> Violent riots in Triflith. Blaine encourages renewal. So already I have no idea what any of this means, but yeah. The hundred grey shadows. <laughs> Written and directed by Sumishi Ara Rubar Productions. Shooting of Grey Shadow Saga lasting four years finalised. Third round of the saga hit movie theatres next round, let's say. Well clearly that's the most important thing to read. I'm not gonna read all this out loud or else I'm just gonna die, so uh I will mumble in a very entertaining fashion. After a lengthy shoot in the hills of Bonton. So we seem to be in Bonton. So, or maybe not. It's the internet. Self-proclaimed visual director. 
Bowman with his eagerly awaited romantic drama, 100 Grey Shadows finally come to an end. Uh, that's why his timelines profiles, sure. Combo of Twitter and Facebook. The third and final chapter, previous releases being a Grey Shadow and another Grey Shadow, ending with a hundred Grey Shadows, oh, of course. It was announced to be released almost four years ago, was postponed numerous times due to production problems. Fans have speculated that this was largely due to the breakdown of Hollywood Power Cup and blah, 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 people who had long lasting quarrels during the filming as a result. These spats were getting out of control. That's okay. Good, you got some nonsense things. This seems like it's going to be important later. Trithlith, peace negotiations in the riot ridden Pargesian capital city Trithlith. I'm going to screw that up so often. Um, have been aborted without any result last night. Independent sources report that President Kassart abruptly cut off communication with opposition representatives as the latter presents a tangible plan for the organisation of re elections. The news about the premature cancellation of the negotiations caused thousands of people to resume demonstrations in the capital. It has been reported that demonstrators wearing hoods threw incendiary material into shop windows and onto cars. The police struggled to keep the situation under control. Prime Minister Blaine stated his worries about the negative developments regarding the political situation of the neighbouring country and has requested both sides, both sides to resume diplomatic discussions. Check the stream. See this working. Oh, Twitch has given me achievements. Isn't that nice? Gamify everything, including games. Again, double gamify games. Uh, right, this one seems important. Context. Detonation. So this was literally today. Is that the weather? Huh. The price of freedom is eternal vigilance. Oh, of course it is. Oh, and the settings are built in. That's nice. Some vision suspected. Mysterious letter. Yeah, this is a gorgeous game. At approximately 7:50 p.m. on Wednesday evening, an explosive device detonated at the Freedom Plaza in Bonton. According to official police reports, three people were killed and at least five bystanders were severely wounded. The Freedom Memorial was nearly completely destroyed. Police forces closed off the area immediately. Uh, so you've got to memorialise freedom. Experts believe that the attack was an act of terror, with police confirming that the explosive device was homemade and triggered from a short distance away using a cell phone signal. Police reports also confirmed that several hours earlier an anonymous letter containing the first three stanzas of the German folk song Die, Gankan, no, Die Gedanken sind frei, the thoughts are free, had reached local, or local authorities. I can talk well, streaming is going to suit me. Prime Minister Blaine immediately issued a public press statement firmly condemning the assault and put the nation on high alert um, until the perpetrators have been brought to justice. So I like how we, other countries are called, you know, country names, but we are just the nation. So Prime Minister Blaine is the Prime Minister of the nation as opposed to this other one. Unless that's like a sub country, I don't know, a region. Profiler holds all known information on those we investigate. The value weapon is for our main suspects. Blue haired woman that the CCTV footage shows before the assault is no stranger to the police. Take a look at the arrest record. So, presumably, my main task here is going to be to fill in details about various people. So, we've got physique. How do I access the arrest record? Ah, okay, in the website, sure, in the reader. Oh, and it keeps track of all the different pages you can get to. Good stuff. Uh, the highlighted elements in the record are pieces of data that are able to be extracted. We call these elements data chunks. Sure, I mean, collectively, data is data, but fine. Hovering over data chunks will reveal the relevance to the case and any connections or information it may influence. Drag and drop all data chunks from the police database into a profile to upload them to our servers. <laughs> okay. Cassandra Watergate, really? Okay. 
thank you. I'm like, oh, there was a thing that flashed up there. So now, okay, so we're just filling in details about a person. Interesting. So. It's a portrait you can disable. So you can presumably say, I'm never going to be interested in this. This cannot be undone. Yeah, that's going to be important later. So there's going to be definitely some psych like, moral decision making of who you want to spy on and what information you want to give, which is interesting. Pictures named up crucial information for Orwell to identify a person. Also, it's called Orwell. What the hell. Um, information in documents can only become a data chunk when it can clearly be assigned to a target person. Add the reason for Miss Watergate's progress that had just been unlocked. We need this info to progress. Assault on a police officer. Good on you. A cab, etc. Um, yes, I'm left. I'm lefty. Woo, you are shocked. I'm trans. That must be the case. Um, also, you know me already, IRL, almost certainly, if you're watching this. So, um, suspect was arrested on site after Officer Franklin had been struck by an unknown object and became unresponsive. The protesters at the origin of the assault, there you go, protesters were forcibly moved where the suspect was found leading and weeping on the ground. When asked her on the ground with her hands behind her back, she cooperated immediately. So, doesn't look like she actually did anything? See, already I'm like, no, I don't want to do anything to this person. Uh, what am I doing here? Can I... There you go. Um, related document found. With the data you extracted from the police record, a new document can now be accessed. Do you believe in coincidence? I do not find data revealing where she attacked the police officer and you will see what I mean. It was going to be the Freedom Memorial. Is this woman a terrorist? Woman allegedly injured a police officer two weeks ago remained in custody. Trials scheduled for August. Protester? The case that keeps the media and the public guessing, Cassandra W, who had allegedly injured a police officer severely two weeks ago, is still being held in police custody. The young woman is accused of having hit the hit victim's head with a large brick. It occurred during a rampage at the Freedom Plaza as part of a demonstration. I'm already calling it that the Freedom Plaza explosion is going to be an inside job to, like, pacify the masses or some shit. Against the newest amendments to the government's model project, the Safety Bill. Due to the chaotic nature of the scene, police have not yet been able to connect to to connect the crime to the accused. Cassandra W, who is an artist by profession, uh, has denied the accusations completely and has asked her fans to show their support. A trial has now been scheduled for mid-August. The case received nationwide attention when Catherine Delacroix, Secretary of Security, labelled the alleged perpetrator alongside the other writers as anti-government terrorists. Oh god, this is depressing because it's so... it's too real. It's literally not far away from where we're getting. Uh, but let's let's help the man. The exact same location as the assault. Then she turns up right there before the explosion. Surely not a coincidence. As you know, Miss Watergate is still running around freely. We should find out why. We should also also gather more background information on her. I want to know who we're really dealing with. So that's now updated her background. Um, God, the, this cannot be undone. It's really clever and really chilling. Oh yes, one who does street art by blowing memorials to pieces by any chance? Oh fuck you, Symes. I already know I'm gonna hate you. Great, you have found another document. Before we go on, let's clarify your job and how it affects mine, shall we? You have extracted all the info I already knew about Miss Watergate. Starting now, I'm going into this case blind. The Orwell Ethical Codex dictates that investigators, like yourself, are the only ones allowed to access the documents of target persons. Advisors like me only get to see the data provided by the investigators. We all then draw conclusions and request action. Your primary job is to provide information you deem important. Never give away incorrect or misleading data. You may hit disable on a data chunk you do not want to parcel to a while. However, some data chunks may be necessary to progress on the case. 
Interesting. So now... Oh, occupation artist there. Okay. Yeah, I'm loving the aesthetic of this game. Uh, Port.folio. Really? Harboring outstanding art. Put her lovely selfie on as a new photo. I am Cassie, a colourful inhabitant of Wonderland right behind the rainbow. <laughs> oh my god, I can give her that current information <laughs> as her address. Oh, that's amazing. Glad you found me. Finally found the courage to. Oh man, now I've got to decide whether to play this game in character and try and like be a good evil bastard or like which is normally me I'm normally an evil person but like this game and then or like try and mislead people uh, finally found the courage to quit my dull day job and focus on my art career that's harmless enough we should find out what that job was um and put my stuff on portal.folio. Below you will find a hand-picked selection of my latest works. You can browse through them by clicking the arrow to the left and right over. See something you like? Why of course you do, because it's freaking awesome, isn't it? Leave a message on my Utel account, Nagasi92. And tell me which piece you'd like. I'm gonna make a fine art print and ship it straight away to your doorstep. Best thing, free of charge? This seems like a poor way to build up a career. Tags professional print. Ah, oh, she paints cats. I just got a cat yesterday. She's adorable. She's hiding under the stairs and she pooped in the bed last night. So, you know. Cats. Kikiko. Oh. The businessman's forgotten daughter. Or victim of traditionalism in pink. That second one is great. So there's no option for uploading kitty information. A Christmas present for my darling. This is actually meant to be a private piece, but oh well, I'd have a hard time keeping it to myself. Okay, so she is in a relationship with... He looks familiar, like, like an actor or something, but yeah. I'm just building up a Facebook profile. Um, you know what? I'm going to troll my friend here. So you're under the impression that our wonderful Miss Watergate is really living in Wonderland. Somehow I doubt that. Call it intuition. People's lives are hanging in the balance here. What if you pass me something I cannot identify as wrong so easily? You've got to be more careful next time around. Yeah, I knew he that was like a test. He can admonish me. Ah, so it does keep track of all the different photos. Fine. Good, you found a chat handle. That will allow us to overhear any conversation on that account. The listener has now been unlocked. New conversations will appear whenever they are started. Interesting. So am I literally going to listen in on these people? Hey you. Hey Josie. That seems to find my credit card. I assume you took it, right? Uh, you got me Sherlock. See, it's interesting you can't see the identity of the person she's talking to. In the middle of buying all of Bonton with that platinum card I lifted from your desk. Can't stop me now. Oh no, we're going to track my credit card. Well, luckily for you, I don't mind on going, you going on a splurge as long as you pick up some wine for dinner. Why is Jossie not something I can take? Why? What did. It, oh, well, there we go. Joseph Langley, my fearless attorney, and all around badass, have in mind this time. Probs just a business call from one of his favourite clients. So, yes, that is exactly what's going to happen. Very serious business, because I thought as much. Oh, I like these two. I'm, I'm really sad that I'm going to turn them into the government. 
yes, I've been a pick up shitloads of wine. You'll have to get this class of yours pretty buzz to handle all that business. One bottle should be fine. She's like, wait, see, already I'm just feeling really creepy for, like, watching in on these private conversations. Oh, whatever, I guess I should pick up some of those party pills from Big Pharma, aka my parents, then. Interesting. Oh, come on, I was only teasing. Speak of your parents when you're going to tell them about us. Uh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Got to go now. So she really doesn't like her parents. Daughter of pharmaceutical engineers. Entrepreneurs. Fine. So it's interesting that... Uh, Watergate pharma entrepreneurs... I can say words, right? This does ring a bell. It's interesting that... This state surveillance thing doesn't already have all this details on like who her parents are stuff if she's been arrested a year ago but yeah oh uh, let's ah so it will create a new profile i mean <laughs> relationship is client of lawyer they're clearly in the relationship but sure For related person, for the profiler, data chunks will only appear for targeted persons and can only be extracted into their relevant profiles. Interesting. Oh, and now it's updated over here. Oh, so they have built in some safe, some safeguards onto just spy on everyone. Maybe I don't know. How do I? Ah, oh, there we go. Stole a credit card from Joseph Lang. So that just seems unnecessary, but like to domain, but fine, I'm gonna go full evil, I think, at least until I really don't want to. She stole the credit card of her lawyer, really. Well, we should be able to track the credit card of this Langley down and lock it for him. Done. No, really, no need to thank Mr. Langley. <laughs> I guess because that's the point. It's clear to me that they're in a relationship, but from the information I given all that this guy knows is that um, their lawyer client also just god damn just unilaterally shutting down his credit card procedure closing raises a manipulation suspicions investigation into the Malicious injury of a police officer has been dropped due to lack of evidence. Speculated that the accused parents manipulated the trial. This law oh. informs me you have just con encountered conflicted data chunks. Whenever the content of two data chunks are at odds with one another, those will be shown as conflicted. When you extract one of the data chunks containing a conflict, the others will become invalid immediately. I'd highly recommend you clarify the context of the conflict before you proceed, though this is your decision. Once the information has been passed, there is no way to reverse your choice. Okay, so what's conflicted here? Ah, uh, okay, so... The case that has been the centre of media attention for the last month has finally come to an end. Cassandra W was acquitted of the alleged assault against a police officer before the trial took place, with the case being closed due to lack of evidence yesterday. However, the case might be reopened should new evidence be uncovered. The suspect's lawyer, Joseph Langley, right, welcomed this outcome. At no point has there ever been any valid evidence that my client was guilty. At no point at all. The revered defence attorney commented during a post-trial press gathering. The defence successfully brought video evidence depicting the incident in question, which eventually turned the side of the proceedings. Good on you. Meanwhile, the relatives of the victim expressed their disappointment on hearing the result of the lawsuit. They openly voiced their concerns that the wealthy family of the accused might have influenced the outcome in her favour. The victim, a father of two sons, was rushed into hospital after the incident in mid-July, where he is still in an induced coma unresponsive to treatment. Well, that's sad for him. Um, so either I can say it's closed due to lack of evidence, or um, the parents 
resolved to illegal means, result, resorted, some would say resorted, to close the target person's criminal case. I think that's suspicious and, like, as in, that doesn't really mean anything, so, let's say it's closed due to lack of evidence. That is what I figured, a pity that the CCTV feed did not actually help. Maybe it will today. Uh, what else we got? Family. Watergate Pharmaceuticals. They enrich lives with our industry leading range of products, making an important contribution to your well being. Cough drops. Activating pills against migraines and headaches. Focus system. That's from The Simpsons. Uh, medication that increases concentration and sleep performance. Da, 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 da. I could apply for a jobs. For a jobs? For a job. They're looking for a CRO. Full from progression and improvement of pharmaceutical research for more than 80 years. One of the nation's leading companies in the area of medicine and at the same time is the largest medication exporter to all areas of the world. It's been in the hands of the Watergate family since 1931. Bruno Watergate, COO, CEO. The CEO is Bruno Watergate, grandson of our founder Edgar Watergate. Apart from working in the family business, he found, is the founder of the Central Pharmacy Congress and head of Children of Parties. Interesting. Alice Watergate with a very scary smile. Head of R&D. Co-partner. Cassandra Watergate, junior COO. Okay, so that's who they were hiring to replace. Carrying, carrying the family tradition to the next generation, Alice and Bruno's daughter Cassandra will soon be joining the executive ranks. So she quits, and why is this still there then? Is this like a cash thing? But she, yeah, she quit and dyed her hair blue. I fully approve. Um, I'm going to give the portrait in. But is that actually the same person? Yes. God damn it. The hair is different. So you're keeping it a family affair and documents that you've already reviewed may be updated from time to time as events unfold the reader will notify you when that happens the national beholder just published a new article you may want to look and see if there's any new information available okay so oh, what's the actual information there genius here sure why not i guess that way everything stays in the family being an artist and a junior CEO seems quite odd. She also mentioned she had quit a dull job, didn't she? Yes, well done. You can add two and two together. So I'm intrigued on this one. So we've got a photo of the lawyer. So can we add... Ah! So can we add this here? Apparently not. Can we add the... photos of the parents. No. Fine. Um, but now I didn't see that the jobs page is updated because I can presumably say they're looking to someone else. Oh, wrong profile. Thank you. Maybe I was wrong, and nothing stays in the family. Ouch. It's probably what she meant about quitting her job. Well done. Currently, I'm thinking that our Miss Watergate underwent quite a radical change. Don't you agree? Let's find out what happened in between these two lives of hers. What has caused this radical shift? Uh, headlines. 
crime rate continues to drop. The Ministry of Security has presented latest numbers on crime statistics in the country. Never before have there been so few violent crimes. Do, do, do. Delacroix. Bonton. I cannot read that as not as just a fake Boston, but yeah. Um, on Thursday morning, the Ministry of Security published the new crime statistic report for the preceding year. According to the report, the number of recorded criminal offences decreased by 4.8% in comparison to last year. The crime rates have been continuously declining over the past several years as a direct result of the safety bill. The Secretary of Defence appeared very pleased by these numbers and declared the development an outstanding result of successful safety policy. Confronted with the release of the assault in Bonton, she once again admitted the ambitious goals of the government have not yet been accomplished. She further mentioned that activities are currently being established, which will have a considerable impact preventing further incidents. That's not terrifying. Uh, what is this safety bill? Then? Ah, the official website of the party of the nation. Safety-centred law and statutes. Blah, blah, blah. It's essentially saying we are, of course, strict regulations concerning immigration. works on camo well but yeah that seems odd values and tradition oh no oh, it's too real oh he looks entirely evil of the nation. No, thank you. So, timelines. Right to see inside the available. That's a way better portrait. I'm going to stick that up. Let's give a birthday. I'm pretty sure we had that somewhere already, but sure. Interests. Art, music, activism. Yes, a really good lineup. Screw you, sweater vest. Um. So you've got her various. Ah, <laughs> oh, that cat. First name freedom far away from the shackles, Watergate farm. Okay, so she quit after she was arrested? Pay for your stuff now. Mummy and Daddy won't like this. You're giving away your art for free. Um, despised puppets of the state, you have finally managed to destroy us entirely. There is nothing left to do but to congratulate you. These are my personal wishes to you from the deepest abyss of my heart. Fuck all of you government lackeys. You tell them. Totally doesn't sound like you. We haven't hung out for ages. You've got to get out from time to time. You'll feel much better. Oh, screw this person. <laughs> yeah, just shut your freaking mouth, okay? I am not in the mood for your stupid act. I told you again and again I could not deal with this right now. Yeah. The beholder actually wrote about me being freaking redeemed with this shit. Surprise, surprise, they had to mention the speculations over my parents buying me out. It makes the click counts go boom, doesn't it? <laughs> I am life. 
liking her circle of friends and I'm sad that I'm being evil. Um, I can give her alias. Now I'd like you to invite you to our little acts of risk group if you want to join us. Mary person seems rubbish. I'll put that in because that's really funny. <laughs> An alias name, you know people on the web, so many names, so many identities. True that. It's always good to record every alias, then we can match data chunks and target persons whenever they are using them. <laughs> yeah, being in a relationship with your lawyer is kind of weird. Yeah. of the government vehemently. Yeah, that kind of was obvious. We aren't in front of you either. I am. She's awesome. Right, let's... Okay, we're back with the lawyer again. Hey, did you hear about the Freedom Plaza bombing? Yeah, don't remind me, you know I have a history with that place. Ooh. Already fucking me up enough that I have to catch a bus from there every day. There you go, too many bad memories now. I was just there, there just moments before this happened. Uh, I know I should have come to that damn protest. Darling, you don't need to justify yourself to anybody, especially not to me. I like this guy. I was so happy when Goldfields accepted me into thought. I desperately wanted to go to prove my worth to the cause. Think of it this way. If you would not have gone to the protest, then you never would have been wrongfully indicted, and then we never would have met. Yeah, and I would not have been called a terrorist in all the papers. You are not a terrorist. Okay. Ain't I? You sure? Oh, no. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm spying on you, dear. Don't, don't say that. Oh, damn it. What? Credit card just declined? Yep. Car's not working here. Can't buy anything. Have you gone bankrupt or something? Mm. Unless you went on a serious shopping spree, there should be plenty of money on there. I guess we'll have to go without wine then. Here's the thing, I've got an important, appoint important appointment tonight, it's surprisingly out of schedule and I can't postpone it. You've got to be kidding me! I'm very sorry darling, we'll see each other tomorrow. You always have an appointment. Appointment here, appointment there, appointment every fucking where. How can you constantly do this to me? Darling, please just calm down. Oh, I don't like this guy anymore. 
have you taken your method? Yes, yeah, screw you. Yes, damn it. Oh, I'm so on Team Cassie here. Is there anything that matters to you at the time on fucking happy pills all day? Darling, please, it's nothing like that in you know it. So I keep your, my mouth shut whenever you leave me hanging. If I don't show up at the appointment, I risk losing a very important client. Fine, don't you understand that? Oh yeah, no, screw you. Dump him! Oh no, I totally understand. Don't you risk losing that very important client of yours now. Cassie, don't be like that. I get it, I guess I'm just not an important client anymore. Oh, come on, Cassie. Going home now in case I'm getting up on that priority list of yours anytime soon, please. Oh, this is so skeevy. Right, this is good. This is good evidence. Meaning her presence there before the bombing could be coincidence after all. I'll reserve my thoughts until you find more evidence. So activities. Group called Thought. The Nectar's group called Thought. Interesting, maybe this is what influenced her, and who is Goldfeld? We should find something that shows her current attitude and see if we're following the right person. Anything else in here? Have you taken any more methods? What's this methadone? Can you look that up for me, please? Alright, so let's go look on the... What's our relationship web at the moment? Antidepressants. Yep. Solidarity. She might be emotionally unstable if she's reliant on this medication. Fuck you. Fuck you. I want to totally get back at this guy. Looking at what you've extracted so far, we're dealing with a potentially dangerous personality. No, we're not. I will indicate that to law enforcement. Fuck you. Torture myself with whimsies achieved. I don't know what that means, but that sounds bad. The thoughts. The thoughts are free. If liberty means anything at all, it means the right to tell people what they do not want to hear. George Orwell. So Orwell does exist in this universe, which means that they fucking named their surveillance system Orwell after him. Oh god, the help log. Uh, let's have a quick scan. Private articles. Ah, okay. Clever, it means you don't have to read through the whole thing. Freedom is unfree by catharsis. Ah, so she wrote the thing. It's cams, cams everywhere, even at the Freedom Plaza. Is it just me or is that more than just a little bit, I don't know, ironic? You probably all know me as either that blue haired punk bitch. Okay, so swear words, like obviously, but like severe swear words. Um, or anti-government terrorist. These are only some of the names I've been called during the criminal investigation against me. That was just because in the middle of the chaos, someone believed to have seen me hurt a police officer. It never even occurred to anybody that it wasn't me. We were there because we wanted a peaceful protest. We have always been against violence. One would assume that in an age where there are cams everywhere, it should be easy to prove whether I was at all involved or not. But it wasn't. It took weeks of investigative custody to figure out that the cam footage was actually not clearly showing anything at all, which raises the question, why are there so many cams in the first place? The answer is intimidation only. Which is true IRL as well. Uh, you keep calm, quiet and careful when there are cameras around, or you fear that there are cameras where you cannot see. When founding this blog years ago, Abraham predicted pretty much this for all the web and now it's in our real lives too. We have been brought to the Freedom Memorial since we were kids at school. We were told lavish tales about the founders of the nation, told to show national pride. And I know what you're thinking now. This thing is damn ugly. What is that donut even? The let freedom ring? But the statement behind this ridiculously enormous heap of stones should be clear. In the middle of the capital, there is a symbol of freedom. Comprehensible symbolism for everyone, isn't it? 
with the cameras there, this is now the Plaza of Unfreedom, if anything at all. <coughs> so a conflict with an unknown data chunk, which is interesting. She's written one articles. One articles, um, one article. There was a link to another thing. Goldfells. I propose to consider the question, are our thoughts still free? While this might seem to be a surprising question, in our current world of ever-growing digital surveillance, freedom of thought is no longer self-evident. <laughs> Dear reader, there is a German folk song called The Thoughts Are Free. Okay, so that's linked somehow. Oh god, there's so much. I'm not going to read the poem. When I was still young, long before I immigrated to the nation in 1993, I believed this to be a universal truth, that there are no borders for thoughts and no rules for what it is or is not allowed to be thought. That was not because I thought people should be so tolerant, not at all. Instead, I simply held it dear that nobody except for ourselves really knows what is going on in our heads until we chose to reveal it. Yesterday a question crossed my mind. If the increasing interconnectedness of humans via modern technology serves more and more as a collective memory and brain of our society, and there is an institution that is capable of monitoring every bitstream of it, how can thoughts still be free? Is it not likely that we will communicate only under great mental reservation to hold on to our knowledge? Which means as a final consequence we will stop thinking. When I think of the increasingly addictive increasingly aggressive operations of the surveillance machinery in the nation, I truly fear the answer to this question. That is why I created this blog. I want to encourage alternatives to the total control and safety bigotry of this digital world. Comments. Interesting name. Just stumbled upon your new blog and there's some truth you tell here. The web was born in the sense of ultimate freedom to be who you want to be. Express yourself, wasn't it? Now the gov has come to threaten this with real name policies and shit. Save your IP so they can look up who you are. So you don't say anything wrong, possibly. About time someone did something. <laughs> nice! Some SEO spam there. So... Is that a gold bell? can't like actively add stuff to these other people which is a bit odd uh right more info oh she's posted on timeline again no finally someone who had the great and explosives to show how futile surveillance is there are thousands of cameras pointing to a target and the big bang still happens i haven't laughed like this for ages what now miss delacroix what now Really, Cassie? You laugh people being killed? Are you out of your mind? Mm. Celebrating the beacon of unfreedom. I think I will submit that she does not like violence because honestly, that's. I like this girl. Um. Ah, if you think that is her actual attitude, we might be riding up the wrong tree after all. Alright, what we found so far is all good and interesting, but I think we should be searching for something a little more concrete. We have to dig deeper. With Juliet Carrington. Who is this person again? Hey Cassie. Hey Jules. Cassie, I just wanted to know... Your post on timelines about this assault. You really shouldn't write something like that. Really, Jules? You're not going to preach to me about this stupid post, are you? No. I just want to know what's wrong, Cassie. It's nothing. Just between the two of us. I just had to let off steam, you know? It's because of what happened, isn't it? That's very useful, Juliet. Yeah, and lots of other shit today. This bombing stirring up all this crap again, you know? What I did. Oh! What happened there wasn't your fault.
I see you hurt that officer to save me. Oh, and the music changed. And you succeeded. You mustn't forget about that. That was so brave. How could it not be my fault? Juliet, I smashed the freaking skull of a father of two children because I lost it. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Who knows what would have happened if you hadn't stopped it? And this is why you really should remove this post. I feel like an asshole. The worst kind of asshole. I might be free, but not rightly so. I'm not innocent. Oh, Cassie, nobody is innocent. You'll have to let go. Ooh. Ooh. See, in the back of my mind, I had, like, uh, she probably actually did it because you're meant to feel sympathy for her. I mean, I still feel lots of sympathy for her. See, that is a really shitty way of saying that. So I'm going to... Like, she ended to protect Juliet. That's what actually happened there. So I'm going to... What? Where did that come from now? This is perfect. We can arrest her and open the investigation again. No! However, we probably won't be able to hold her for long if it really happened in defence of this Juliet. Very good work. The intervention team is already on its way. We'll need to wait for confirmation. No! Next stop, Wonderland, right? Just kidding. Next time, be careful with providing the wrong data, though. Okay. In Miss Watergate's case, it was not a problem to get her address with the help of local police due to her former record. No, I feel so bad. I thought about what you said. Maybe you're right. I should take the post down. It'll be better, believe me. Wait a second, somebody's at the door. BRB. No! Okay, I'll wait. I feel so bad. B2W, how is your boyfriend? You're still together? You haven't been talking about him much that lately. Well, not as much as before. Hello? No, I feel awful. Are you still there? Cassie? Quite if all went well with arresting Miss Watergate, he did a good job in any case. I feel like a scumbag. Although we have no proof she's involved in the bombing, we might be able to question her. Despite acting in defense of this Julia, she seems to be quite unstable and a threat. Shut up! Okay, I just received confirmation she's now in custody. Very good work indeed. I'm curious about this thought group though, whether they... Oh God! No, no, take a look at the news. Two dead after second explosion. Oh god. Explosion at Skelligan Universe University campus kills two students. Is there a connection to yesterday's assault? Explosive charge. At least two people dead, three injured. That is horrible. Two dead, similar approach, same letter found. So these assaults are connected. And if that wasn't enough already, Miss Watergate was in custody at the time, so that's her out of the picture, at least for this attack. Uh, this complicates matters massively, so much for our simple test case. I need to speak to my superiors, see how we are to proceed, given these extenuating circumstances. You did good today. You can log off and get some rest by clicking the button on the top right of the desktop. Try and get some sleep. I have a feeling the next few days are going to be trying at best. Bonton. Half an hour ago, an explosion occurred at the campus of Bonton University. According to latest reports, at least two people were killed, with a further three injured severely. The area was evacuated immediately. They received an anonymous letter, which again contained the first three stanzas of D. Gedanken Sindfly, exactly like the letter received before the assault on the Freedom Plaza yesterday. Right. <laughs> Okay, uh, it's been an hour and this is the first stream and I'm tired so I think this is a good time to call it. I may do some more streaming later tonight if I have the energy, energy levels are up and down, otherwise I should hopefully be back tomorrow around the same time about 5 o'clock and we can do the next day and maybe finish this chapter. I'm liking this, very interactive. 
I like the aesthetic. I like the fact that it feels like you're actually doing it. You're actually like using the interface. It is your computer. So yeah, let's log out. Oh, and we have a summary and an achievement. Okay, so that is the first chapter, right? Maybe we learned the following: a severe assault occurred at the Freedom Plaza. She was present there prior to the assault. An activist group and then there was a second assault. And then we have all this useful stuff for me. Right. Let's end the session. Ah, oh, that's cool. The little eye logo there. Uh, bye.